All right, we got our update from Ford. So, hmm. All right, welcome to another episode of Mop Point 3 Garage. Uh, I am Chris, and uh, this is our 1974 Ford Bronco that we just decided that we were gonna put a 347 stroker in. Um, just to announce that on the last video that I did, and uh, we're gonna be going through the whole build process. So subscribe if you haven't already. There's a lot of Bronco stuff on this channel. Uh, but we got an update on the new Bronco. So as you know, for those of you who have been following this channel, I have a, an early reservation for a first edition Bronco. And uh, we don't know if we're gonna keep that first edition reservation or they're gonna switch it for something else. And we got an email today that actually told us what I had been asking the dealer for previously, which is what, what's going to delay this? What kind of options um, am I going to put on this Bronco that are going to push it back because I'd like to take it sooner than later But I also want to make sure we get what we want. So um, Anyway, we got that email today finally and I'm going to share it with you Let's go into my study and let's go take a look at that email. So we got the first email um, Right around the middle of December that basically said this uh, You know, we are sorry, but we're gonna have to delay the Bronco a little bit and uh, you're probably going to be waiting until um, the middle of January, specifically January 19th, before we'll actually start converting your reservations into orders. Uh, but they did apologize, saying that they were going to give us some, uh, I guess these are Ford Pass reward points. And you get uh, $200 when you place the order and $300 when you complete the order, when you pick up the unit. So it's 500 total dollars that you can use on service and things like that. Um, but likely I'll spend that on parts. So I'm going to take that into account when I go to um, when I go to place the order. So we got we emailed uh, our dealer and our dealer emailed back and basically said the orders for the uh, the orders will be by reservation date and timing as well. First reservation orders will start sometime in late July. So my my assumption is meant will be delivered late in July uh, because they've already published or at least the dates have been leaked that. Uh, the initial order dates are going to be 1-19-21. Uh, the um, schedules are going to begin on 3 18 so they're going to be scheduling manufacturing. And then uh, production startup will be 5-3. So I imagine that July is probably going to be when they're going to start deliveries. Um, so then today I got my email, and it said, uh, starts out, your adventure, your adventure is coming, so they're building it up. Uh, congratulations on your new Bronco. You can build for price. Um, the consulting and ordering will be coming from your dealer. Uh, estimated delivery windows uh, will begin in the summer of 2021 and continue until 2022 calendar year. Uh, after ordering your Bronco, you will hear from us in May 2021 with the details about when you'll take your delivery. Uh, so that's about when they're going to start up the manufacturing process. Um, we'll be getting Bronco order updates as we go. And then here is the big one. Um, due to overwhelming demand, we expect that certain configurations may lead to extended uh, wait time. These include two-door, which I don't care about, Wild Track Series, which was one of my options, the 2.7 liter engine, uh, that is something that I wanted. Sasquatch package, obviously something that I wanted. The Lux Equipment Group is going to be coming on the first edition, so that will push the first edition back. And then leather trim interior, same thing. That'll push the first edition back. Additionally, some vehicle options that uh, are slated for late availability will delay the build and delivery of your order. These include the back black modular painted hardtop, which doesn't bother me too much. The dual hardtop, which is something that I had optioned, uh, will be late summer 2021. All black interior seating options on the first edition, which again is the first edition being pushed back. Uh, roof rack with four-door Sasquatch package available in 2022. So I guess you can't get a roof rack this year. And then manual transmission with a Sasquatch I don't care about. Body color and white painted modular hardtop. That really doesn't bother me either. Um, so this is going to change the way that I'm ordering now. Um, based off of this list. So let's talk about that. All right, so looking at that email now, um, my expectation is I'm gonna be called by my Ford dealer probably late next week, maybe even the following week, and ask me for my order. Uh, I wanna get my order in 
quickly so that I don't lose my spot because my assumption is uh, that uh, I was in the first, I, 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 th I put my reservation down within 15 or 20 minutes when they opened the whole thing up and I have that in a previous video about my feelings about the whole first edition thing which I was super excited about at the beginning. Um, so go through my previous videos and see that. Uh, but at this point, I, I don't know what we're gonna do if you want a 2.7 liter engine in a Sasquatch package, which is like the vast majority of us. Uh, again, I don't blame Ford for this. I'm in an industry where uh, parts availability uh, has become insanely difficult to do anything. Uh, my business is very hard to run right now due to the fact that I can't get parts for things. So Ford is no different, it's a big company. Um, 190,000 pre-orders and I, I get it so I'm not mad at Ford it's just a uh, it's just a difficult situation and, and I think they're gonna come through and obviously I'm a big Ford fan so I'm not gonna waver on this the key is now what am I gonna do what what am I gonna do am I gonna go for the base like we talked about in our previous um, uh, in our previous video about getting a base just getting bare bones and building it from scratch uh, or um, going with the first edition and waiting because it looks like almost a lot of the things that are on the first edition are all late summer. When they say late summer on those, my assumption is they mean like maybe fall because I don't think things are going to speed up. I think they're going to slow down. Um, so, you know, a first edition may not be delivered until Christmas. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not even until next year. So maybe just getting a base and starting on it. And by that time, I probably have it built before any of the rest of them are delivered. I have no idea. So um, that said, leave your comments down below. What do you think about this? I'm still very excited for the Bronco. I want to be one of the first people to get one so I can enjoy it without there being 190,000 of them on the road. Um, so I may just duck all the lines that I can and, and get into it as quickly and as cheaply as possible. Um, the, big, the big factor for me is the Sasquatch and the, and the uh, 2.7 liter. Obviously, I like big motors, Stroker and this one right here. Um, 351 in the other Bronco. So why would I want a straight four? I, I don't want a straight four, but I also don't want to wait f maybe three months, four months longer for my Bronco. Although it would be stupid and not to spend, you know, $50,000 on, on a car that you don't get what you want. Um, but anyway, um, so leave your comments down there. What do you think about this from Ford? Um, and uh, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be going through the options tonight and coming up with what I think are my four options at this point. Um, and oddly enough, they're all about $5,000 apart from one another. I wanna get your feedback on it before I talk to uh, my dealer. Um, and, uh, and then we're just gonna let her rip and go for it and let all the pieces fall where they do and, and uh, uh, at the end of the day, we're going to have a really nice new Bronco to go with our old Broncos, and that is what I'm the most excited for. Subscribe. Please subscribe. We'd love to have you guys in our garage. Uh, continue on our builds here, and uh, we'll give the update on the other four models, and then eventually my call with or my meeting with uh, Ford over, the, uh, over my reservation and, and pre-order. That's a wrap from Mile Point 3 Garage. I'll talk to you in a couple of days.